Ciao everybody, that means hello in Vietnamese, it's my first ever time in Vietnam, I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, actually it's still referred to as Saigon, today's date is Sunday, March 17, 2024. The time is about 10 o'clock a.m. Temperature is 90 Fahrenheit, 32 Celsius. Just thought to explore my local surroundings a little bit.
Vietnam seems to be the land of scooters and motorbikes. Hope you're all doing well. I think there's one of their local buses, the one that says 88 on it. Yes, uh, VC-322, Vietnam's transportation, mostly mopeds. It's quite noisy here in Vietnam. You know, before I continue a little bit, I think my lens might be a little bit cloudy. Like, I feel like there might be a fingerprint on it or something. Yeah, there is. Let me clean that off for you all. Um, where's a good place for me to put this camera down? Uh, some, some things you just kind of notice doing this for so long. I'm going to do it here. Cannot start this live stream on a bad note with a bad blurry lens. I have a bad habit of just starting up um, recordings without like checking how clean my lenses are. So That was way too much um, sanitizer. Much, much better. Now you can actually see better. Let me go back to this intersection so you can see what you missed out on us now that it's clear. Good thing I cleaned off the lens in the beginning. Can you imagine if I did a whole live stream with a lens that had a fingerprint on it? Perfect, this is the way it should be. Clara said he thought it might be the air there. I mean, it could be probably due to my traveling also maybe some humidity got on and condensed some water that might be dirty or something but regardless the lens is clean now I'm very close to the popular Ben 10 market that's a uh, Vietnam's largest market and most well-known. I'll have to admit, crossing the street here can be a little bit of a challenge. It takes some time to get used to. And uh, pedestrians aren't always prioritized. It's really scooters and like cars that are. Hung Mao, what district am I in? I'm in District 1. 
Oh, Kevin, your sis, uh, cousin was just there. Now she's on her way back to New York City. Here's a uh, Vietnamese street crossing. As you can tell, there's no pedestrian signal. So what do you do here? Luckily for me, I'm from New York City, the capital of jaywalking. I'll show you how it's done. You wait for a slowdown in traffic like this, and then you start walking so people see you. And then you wait here, and you do the same thing here. Wait for the cars to go because the motorbikes can go around you much easier. To cross, you have to really think of it as a river. You see, now there's kind of like a break in traffic. Now you just go. Don't run. Running is bad. That's how you cross the street in Vietnam. At least in the crosswalks that don't have a pedestrian light. There's some that, that do have them. I know a lot of people are in for a culture shock when they come here and they're like, what do I do? How do I cross the street? I've seen so many tourists already like struggle with crossing the street. One thing you can do is to cross with a local. If they're at the light, you just go with them. And uh, hopefully my phone does not overheat because it's at that temperature now where it could. So if my live stream has issues, you know why. I may have to restart it and put my fan on without the gimbal. How does the air quality seem? Seems okay to me. Here there is no pedestrian crossing, you just cross. I mean, it's a quiet street anyway. Benno says, how does it compare to Thailand so far? I mean, I'm not too sure. Haven't been here that long. Is the Ben 10 market, biggest market in Ho Chi Minh City. It might even be in uh, Vietnam. This is um, comparable to the Chat Tu Chak market that I recorded when I was in Bangkok. Tommy says 90 degrees, only 10 a.m. That's right. I might have to do more of these morning live streams because it's too hot to live stream in the afternoon. Beep, 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 beep. 
I'll walk you a little bit through this Ben 10 market. It's pretty cool. You can find like so much stuff being sold here. Clothing, accessories, food, luggage even, fabrics. Clarice is crossing the street here, we'll get on your nerves. Well, on a good note is um, you won't really have to wait too long to cross the street with, uh, with lights. You just go and you just, you deal with the traffic accordingly. Steven said humidity is only 50%. Yeah, in that case, it's comfortable. Handbags, fabric, cloth. Twenty-first century visits, five pounds. Um, action kit is in for some Vietnamese food delight delights. Iced coffee, bun mi, bun siu, and some pho, fresh herb salad, some world history. For sure, thanks 21st century visit. Appreciate the support. You know what the uh, interesting thing is also walking through this market? Um, I'm hearing some Vietnamese and I was doing some research on the language. It's actually part of the Austro-Asiatic family of languages. But it does some have something to do in common with Chinese. About like 60 to 70 percent of the words of the vocabulary was derived from the Middle Chinese period. And in ancient Vietnam they used they actually use Chinese characters for their language, but now they use a Latin alphabet after colonization by the French. And you can actually hear some similarities between Vietnamese and a dialect like Cantonese. In a it's a Chinese dialect, so I find that ra rather interesting. Kevin Wu says Vietnamese language sounds a little Cantonese. Yes, I would suspect also Vietnamese may have more in common with Hokkien as well, which is the, uh, the oldest Chinese dialect that's still widely spoken. That has more in common with middle, the Middle Chinese period than Cantonese does. Also, the name of Vietnam in Chinese is Yernan, which means South Year. Year is actually an area in China. So that just gives you a little bit of a, of a uh, background as to why the languages are actually kind of similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if I just st start speaking my native dialect, which is very similar to Cantonese, how uh, people may understand some vocabulary. Even though the writing system is completely different, Oh, Francis, they say we speak Cantonese in Ho Chi Minh City, Chinatown. Really? Gonna have to check it out. Oh, Chris uh, Jin says Vietnamese sounds like Ti Chiu or Ho Kien. That's what I was saying. Look at these beautiful articles of clothing. Molly says, love you being there. I mean, it's exciting for sure.
Oh, uh, let me tell you about the Vietnamese currency. It's actually the second lowest denominated currency in the world after Iran, I believe. And they, do, they don't use any coins, only banknotes. The lowest banknote is a thousand Vietnamese dong. And the highest banknote is 500,000, which is uh, equivalent to $20. Right now, the exchange rate is about uh, one U.S. dollar to twenty-four thousand seven hundred Vietnamese dong, which makes uh, transacting with business here kind of complicated because they use a lot of bills and there's a lot of banknotes, and it's not an easily divisible number with the US dollar. Steven says no coins. Nope. They have a 1,000 dong, 2,000 dong, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, and 500,000. I think off the top of my head, that's all the different um, bank notes they have. It can get very, very confusing because of all the zeros. Sometimes you don't know if you're giving 10,000 or 100,000. It's actually kind of annoying when they ride these scooters on the sidewalk. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Easy for me to cross the street. It's just second nature being from New York. I'm approaching more of the uh, historical sites along uh, trying to pronounce the street. D Win We. I definitely know N-G-U-Y-E-N is not pronounced Nguyen, I think it's pronounced Win. You see, even if you can cross now, you wouldn't want it. You gotta wait for the traffic to die down a little bit. He just gave me a peace sign. Steve Savage asking if data is cheap. Oh, it sure is. I was able to get a SIM card, a five week SIM card for 290,000 Vietnamese dong, which is uh, less than $12 US. It's crazy here to see these like huge numbers for dinner or like meals and then it only comes out to like 10 bucks, five dollars.
sir, your total bill is one million. One million, I can't afford that. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, wait a second, it's $40. So we have a cafe, the Ek Saigon. So uh, we are approaching some historical sites. The uh, Ho Chi Minh City Hall is right here, otherwise known as the People's Committee of Ho Chi Minh City. This one. Uh, U Ban Yan Dan Tan Ten Pho Ho Chi Minh. My uh, Vietnamese, I'm gonna get slaughtered for it. I think there's six different tones in Vietnamese. See, pedestrian light. It's not like every single street has a, doesn't have a pedestrian light. Here in these areas, you'll actually see a lot of French influence from the colonial period. Like here, Pasteur, that's French. And they still use the French uh, road signs. John says Viet, um, Vietnam slash Saigon brings back memories too. It has changed much, but not as radically as Bangkok. Yeah, I still see it. There's a lot of historical places around here. Joe Hernandez asking how long is my flight from Thailand to Vietnam? About two hours. All right, the Ho Chi Minh City City Hall. Beautiful looking building. Look at the architecture on this. Gorgeous. This is one of their main streets. I think it's a better view from here. Ho Chi Minh City Hall is big for sure. Very large. I think that's a tour group. Hey, 
what's going on CFOT, NYC walking show. Oh, we gotta show this. This is a statue of the, uh, the namesake of the city, Mr. Ho Chi Minh. Beautiful statue here. Susan asking if English is spoken in Vietnam considering the Vietnam War. Um, I do see that English is spoken here in a considerable amount. Thanks Anthony Devon with $5. Appreciate the support. Thanks Anthony. Also, I believe the uh, Vietnam War here is called the American War when the locals refer to it. In my personal opinion, war is really bad. There's no winners in war, only losers. Gorgeous fountain. There's also a dragon there too. Wow. We got to see this. This is an easy street to cross in Vietnam. Pedestrian signal with a walk sign. Yeah, they were wearing the Ao Dai, the Vietnamese traditional dress. I think there's another point of interest here. Let's uh, check this out. I um, made some markers on my maps about places around here to see. Okay, I see this. This is the uh, Ho Chi Minh Opera House in front of me, past the trees. Mandarin Oriental Saigon is coming soon. Heather and Oz just try to visit the post office. Inside is amazing. I should have to for sure. Ho Chi Minh Opera House.
wedding photography. Uh, thank you, Peter Bradfield, for $1.99, a little for your stay in Vietnam. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, Louis Vuitton, right across the street from the Opera House. The most well-known French brand in the world. There's also a tour bus. I think these tour buses actually are extremely affordable. Oh. Hi. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. This guy here just pointed to my shoes. I, uh, I know the deal. Actually, um, it happened to me yesterday. But it's actually a uh, <laughs> big, big tourist trap or scam here in Vietnam. Someone points at your shoes, you stop and then they start cleaning them or repairing them and they charge you an outrageous amount of money. For me, you'll see that video when it releases, but yep, I fell for a scam in Vietnam. Fool me once, and you're not fooling me again. Let's check out the dragon. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. Amazing. The dragons are even moving. Hung Lao says pretty dragon. Two dragons. I think I heard Spanish from that tour guide. Royal Hotel Saigon. Look at the architecture over here. Susan asks if they also speak French. I haven't really heard French here, but I wouldn't be surprised. 
I know there are some words from, from French in Vietnamese. And it has had an influence here. Hey, Mike Ryder, thank you for Two dollars super chat. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks so much. Kathy Y, thank you for ten dollars. Appreciate it, Kathy. Really appreciate it. Glad you could join this live stream. This part of Ho Chi Minh City is really, really nice. I think they're building something here. Joseph Taylor says, wow, Royal Hotel Saigon, $43. Say a total earlier, um, over $900. Oh, $43 a night for the hotel. Accommodations here in Ho Chi Minh City are extremely, extremely affordable compared to other places. And uh, you really have to see the food prices here too. It's incredible. You're able to get a bowl of pho here in Ho Chi Minh City for like two dollars. Thank you, Michael Seffer, for 99 Australian cents. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. My entire taxi ride from the airport to District 1 only cost me It was a uh, 119,000 Vietnamese dong to get from the airport to here. There's a modern building, KPMG, Vienna Capital. Thank you, Albert Thompson, for $1.99. Appreciate it, Albert. Thank you so much. We have an exhibition here on different um, Vietnamese fashion on the Ao Dai. Yeah, Dutchman, lots of products from Vietnam are sold in Walmart and Target back home. You can get clothing here for 
very inexpensive prices because this is where they're manufactured and produced. Benno says it's a developing nation with low wages. Yes, the cost of labor here is very low. And it is developing quick. However, the uh, Vietnamese economy isn't exactly the most stable. You can just see it with the currency. The second lowest denominated currency in the world where the highest banknote is 500,000 dong, which is $20. And uh, right now, I learned that Vietnam is actually going through a big, big financial scandal, the largest in Southeast Asia. Uh, no thank you, no shoe shine. These shoe shine people are everywhere everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy how many shoe shines the think people need. Anyway, what was I uh, talking about? Oh yes, the biggest financial scandal. Um, basically, there's this one woman who was able to control through her like shell companies and corporations 90% of a big um, Vietnamese commercial bank and owned like 14 billion dollars of like property and real estate. And it ended up being a big fraud that she was stealing money and stuff. It's basically like the Bernie Madoff of Vietnam. And there's like so much going on right now. People are getting arrested and I think the trial just started. So that's a big shakeup for the Vietnamese economy. And um, there's a lot, lot of uh, lack of confidence in that commercial bank because of this big financial fraud. But it just goes to show you that corruption and fraud can happen anywhere. This is actually a uh, well-known skyscraper. Called the uh, Bit Bixico Financial Tower. Johnson D says Vietnam has a very strong coffee culture. Even Starbucks can't gain market share there. Oh, I can imagine it. There's another gorgeous building to my right. Not sure what it is. has a French look to it.
Let's go over to the waterfront there. Christy saying no 7-Elevens there. They're not in a high density like, um, like Bangkok or Taiwan, but they are around. Oh, it's this bank here that's under the big financial um, fraud and scandal. SCB, the Saigon Commercial Bank. This is the fifth largest commercial bank in Vietnam and uh, the one that's under a lot of scrutiny right now. We're gonna have to cross the street here. Somewhere where there's a pedestrian crossing. Uh, Keep Savage, do they have a subway? It's under construction. I think there is a pedestrian crossing over here. I see the blue pedestrian crossing uh, sign. Yep, there's a crosswalk right there. Now tell me folks, would you be brave enough to cross the street? Let's see how these people do. They cross at the right time. Just gonna hang back and let you soak in the fact that there's a pedestrian crosswalk here and no traffic light. But hey, this is how you do it. People cross like this. Did you see that folks? I did not hesitate. Now you do the same thing here. You don't run. I wouldn't cross if there's a, a car coming, but if there's a motorbike or a scooter, you go. If there's a big enough opening, of course. You still don't want to cross like suddenly when there's not enough time for a car to brake. Like right now, I wouldn't want to do it. Just wait for traffic to lighten up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go now.
easy to cross. You see, they slow down for you. What do you think, folks? How many of you will be like, I'm not crossing the street, it's so dangerous. So many cars, motorcycles. Did you see me do any of that? No. Pineapple water says, are you certain this is the norm? You seem to be the only person doing it. It's the norm. I guess many of you haven't seen many YouTube videos on how to cross the street like this. Here, let's watch this people do it. Seems that those people are tourists back there. It was easy for them. I think these people are new. It's gonna take them a while to take their first step into the street. That's how you do it. There's a boat uh, ferry, I think, here too. CAC A13, are there traffic lights here? Yes, there are. Molly turns his next stop, Bangkok. I was just there. Johnson Z says no traffic lights in Asia. Everyone used their intuition. Yeah, you do. John says that is pretty dangerous, but it's the norm here. It works. Let's see how these people cross, if they do. Look at this. This woman didn't even go. I think she's gonna be here for a long time.
I think the uh, <laughs> the philosophy between Thailand and Vietnam is the same. Walk at your own risk. That includes looking down for like cracked pavement, holes, traffic. Steven says just have to be very careful. Yes, you definitely do. Hey Roy, how's it going? This is beautiful. Square Vest says crossing the street is an adventure there. It's just natural for me. Cat A13, is it hot there? Yes, it is. Wonder what's further down here. Maybe I can go under this bridge. Then uh, you won't have to cross the street. Yeah, you can walk under the bridge. Such a pretty area. This building here is under construction. Hey, look at this. Why cross the street when you could cross under it? Some guy's just hanging out on a hammock here under the bridge. Although you cross under the street, there's another street if you want to cross, you got to do it.
this riverfront area is really stunning. It's also a nice playground. Um, before I continue though, I want to make sure I hydrate myself. An hour of walking around is enough to get water, especially 90 degree heat, 32 Celsius. Oh, this bench is hot. Put my arm on it. I see a pedestrian crossing up there. Andrew asked what is there to do for fun around here. Playground next to me, you got the opera house, you have the forest attractions, you got shopping malls. A lot of conveniences of a city. This is a very easy street to cross. There's big gaps in the traffic. What are these pigeons eating? Rice? Yeah, it's rice. I think the traffic to the right you gotta be more careful of. What do you think of that pedestrian crossing? Not as bad as the other one, right? A bun me for 20,000 Vietnamese dong. That's less than a dollar. wedding pictures. John asked if it has become more overcast than it was a half hour ago. It could have been. This is so easy to cross, man. There's nobody coming. Whew. It's the hardest damn street I had to, had to cross, man. That one.
Now it's getting more busy. Sarah, you like this stream more? Oh, there's a market over there. Let's take a look. Looks like there's a pedestrian crossing here with a traffic signal beyond it. So to cross safely, we could wait for that traffic signal past here to cross. Or we can just go. All right, they got a red light beyond this pedestrian crossing. We can go. There's a cyclist. Easy man, there's traffic lights. What is this? Asiana Link Travel Small Group Tours. This looks like a local market. <laughs> Got dragon fruit and pomelo. Hey Dennis Moore, $30. Super excited to see Saigon slash Ho Chi Minh City Action Kid. If you had to pick a New York City neighborhood, what would it seem like? It, or is that hard to answer, Jackson Heights? Oh, thank you, Dennis Moore. I don't really understand the context of your question. If I had to pick a New York City neighborhood, um, for what, to live in, to visit, to uh, go to school, work? I mean, it depends on your, uh, your needs, right? What I would do is, uh, Find out what interests you in a particular neighborhood. Maybe it's, you know, if it's a career, it's advisable in most scenarios to live close to where your job is. So try to do that. And there might be like a mix of like things that you may or may not like in a neighborhood, restaurants, activities, um, family, friends is a big um, factor into all of that too. Where do they live? So I can't really answer that question. There's, so many great neighborhoods in New York City. But uh, Jackson Heights area is the most um, diversified area of the city. In terms of food, yes. Oh, Connie, I think he's asking you to compare this with New York. Um, Ho Chi Minh City to New York City. No, there really isn't a comparison. To compare a whole city of uh, Ho Chi Minh City to one neighborhood in New York, there's no way you can do it. There's so many different aspects to this. I mean, just in this live stream, we've been to the market, we've been to this place the riverfront we have the city hall area so the same thing with new york there's different neighborhoods corresponding to different places you have a city hall area in new york you have the waterfront you have the shopping mall
This is so cool. There's beer and beverages being sold, fruits, vegetables, fish. I can do one of those drinks, strawberry, for a dollar. Forty thousand for a bowl of beef noodle soup. Oh, she's making sugar cane. Yeah, Desert Highway 57, I addressed it already. Which neighborhood reminds me of Saigon in New York City? There really isn't a comparison. You really have to do it neighborhood by neighborhood. Hello, xin chào. U.S. beef. Believe it or not, you do see international foods here too. Fatty's restaurant. Sounds American to me. Fatty's sports restaurant. Bar and snacks. Yeah, it really does seem like a American style restaurant, french fries, bangers and mash, pepper steak, pizza. So if you want um, bar food, you can come here. Amazing the diversity that um, Ho Chi Minh City has. Food on.
Lion Panther vlogs. Are there a lot of tourists from the U.S. that you notice? Um, not as many as Bangkok. Not nearly as many. I do see that there are tourists here, but I never really ask them where they're from. I only know because they they don't look ethnically um, Southeast Asian. Hey, it's reminding me of Bangkok again. Look at the sidewalks. They're crossing where there's not even a crosswalk. Yeah, Tony, I'm very careful where I step. Leo 6 fruit and juice. Toilet is 10,000. You have to pay to use the toilet here. They do have a pedestrian light uh, walk sign, but I missed my opportunity. I wouldn't want to cross if there's a pedestrian signal like the way I cross the other street. Hey, these people are going for it even though it's not the light. I went inside the shopping mall before. It's really nice. You know what I could show you? Hopefully I don't have connection problems inside the shopping mall. This is called the Saigon Center. Oh man, I should maybe consider getting lunch here and a drink. Yeah, let's do it. And it's air conditioned in here too.
Ooh, looks like a French cafe. Hey, here's a brand you all know. Starbucks. I wouldn't want to drink at Starbucks though. There's so many other local options. Unless it's for an AK Extra video. And I can say, oh, this Starbucks, it tastes the same. Desert Hire 57, good night from you too. Thanks for the glimpse of beautiful Vietnam. Yes, gorgeous place from what I can tell. You know what's funny? Like, everything here is in English. Even the signs. Calvin Klein, Armani Exchange, Clothy, Kenneth. department store here called Takashimaya. There's Din Tai Fung on the top floor. I only know it's Din Tai Fung because I've seen the characters before and it says Taiwan on the top. All right, everyone, I think I'm going to wrap up my live stream here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna cool down and get something to eat. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone from my first day here in Vietnam. Actually not first day, it's been a little bit, but first live stream from Vietnam. See you later, bye bye.